In this section of the course, we're going to go into regular expressions in Ruby. Now, if you've never used regular expressions before, they may seem very foreign and may not make a lot of sense, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, I remember the first time I saw my first regular expression, uh, it was pretty scary looking because I have an example one right up here for you. And this one's a little bit convoluted, very specific, but I do want to show you there are some very odd syntax things here going on. And so the goal of this section is to familiarize yourself with how to use regular expressions in Ruby and then give you the tools you need to extend that knowledge. So in the, the section, we're going to go over basic regular expression syntax, how we can use it in an application, and then we're going to build some sample programs that do things that I think are really practical. We're going to create a email regular expression validation checker. We're going to create an IP address uh, matcher, and then we're going to do something really fun in the last video, which is to build a wheel of fortune game where we use a combination of regular expressions along with some other matchers in Ruby uh, to build a fully functional Wheel of Fortune guessing game. So that, I think this is going to be a fun section and hopefully it'll be a really practical one because I know a lot of times regular expression courses can be really boring and hard to follow. So I want to make mine as practical as possible. So in this first one, we're going to start off and we're going to create four different matchers in this video. So I'm going to start off with a string and I'm going to say uh, the quick 12 brown foxes jumped over the 10 lazy dogs. And that may sound like a weird sentence. Uh, this is a popular sentence because it contains every letter in the alphabet. I changed it up a little bit so that uh, it would also have some integers because one of the basic matchers we're going to be doing is going to return every spot that has a uh, integer in the string. So that with this first one, I'm going to just see if the string contains the letter O or not. And in order to check for that, I'm going to print it out the console. So I'm going to say P string and then uh, this is the regular expression shortcut for a matcher it's uh, equals and then the uh, little squiggly line and then for a regular expression matcher you're going to pass it into these two uh, backslashes so anything that I put inside of here is my regular expression so that's a basic syntax so if I am looking for the letter O, I'll hit save, come back here, run regex and basic regex, and this will return 15. If you wonder why it's returning 15, it's because it takes each one of these letters and then it uh, gives it an index value. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this O is at the index value of 15 for this string. So that's pretty cool, and that's a, uh, that's a way to check for that. If you wanted to find an entire word, I could type quick in here, run this again, and you can see that it returns that this uh, quick is at the index value of four. So this is all working, and that's, uh, that's a nice way of checking to see if a value is inside of a string. So that's great, but how would we, what's kind of a practical way of doing this? Uh, syntax we're gonna be using a lot in this section is the ternary operator, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that here. I'm going to say P string, and then I'm going to do the matcher here, and I'm going to look for the letter Z. So I want to know if this string contains the letter Z, and if it does, then it's a valid string, and if not, it's invalid. And this is how you create a ternary operator in, uh, in Ruby. Uh, this is the exact same thing as me doing something like this. If 
string matches z then valid else invalid so this is right here is a shortcut for this so i'm able to take five lines of code and put it into one which is always something that you like to do in ruby so let me run this right here and if i return you can see that it says that this is valid so this is pretty cool so in one line of code i'm able to return a to see if a item is included in a string and return some output based on uh, on that result now let me do let me duplicate this and right here i'm going to change it from z to a capital z and see what this third line prints out so if i run this again now you can see that this one prints out invalid First one's still valid, second one's invalid. And the reason is because uh, this is not case insensitive. It's actually going to look for only lowercase z's. So uh, there's a couple ways I could do this. One is I could just pass z and lowercase z and uppercase z. So if I pass this, oh, and this one's actually invalid as well. Uh, I forgot in this one uh, with this syntax you just have to pass an I so uh, the other one I was thinking of is if I'm searching for a range I could do something like uh, this where I go um, A to Z then capital A to Z and it searches for a range of them. But uh, if you're wanting to do a case insensitive search, uh, just it it's a shortcut, just put slash I. Now come back here, run it again, and now you can see that it is valid. So uh, this one is, this is a way to do a case insensitive search, and this is how you do it if you wanna have a straight search and just find um, uh, the lowercase values. Okay, the last one we're going to do in this video is a cool one, and it is a way to return all of the matches that are integers. So this is something that's actually pretty helpful. So I'm going to say a string, and I have to cast this to an enumerator. So I'm going to say string to enumerator. And I'm going to pass the message or uh, send the method scan. And after I do scan, and scan's a method of regular expressions in Ruby, now I pass the regular expression right in here. Now the regular expression to find all the integers is I first do a forward slash, then the letter D, and then a plus. And what this does, the letter D searches for integers, and the plus searches for multiple instances. If I didn't have that, it would only return the first one, but I want all of them. And then we're gonna call the map method on this and pass it a block and say uh, regex uh, last match. And this right here, this uh, regular expression, this is the class that Ruby has for regular expressions. And last match is one of the uh, one of the methods inside of this class. Okay, so let's see what this returns. So come back here, run it, and you can see this is perfect. So it says, okay, I found your match data of 12 and 10. So if we come up here, we can look and we have 12 and 10 right here. So uh, just with this one line of code, we're able to quickly scan the string, find all of the integers, and then have the pass of the regular expression matcher to it so that we know not just that it existed, like here we found out that if they existed or not and where they were but here what we want is not just to find out if they exist but what the value is so these are some uh these this should give you a good kind of quick start in how to use regular expressions in ruby and in the next video we're going to get into some more practical things such as uh finding a or creating an email matcher to see if a string is a valid email or not